Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Fostering Apocalypse, a game where it's the post-apocalypse, and you take care of a demon child. It's the year 19xx. The world has been raised once before by incomprehensible forces. Looks like someone did a big anime marathon. I warned you about that. The human race dwindled to dozens in a single moment. The survivors of this apocalypse must scavenge, fight, or die. Usually die, so you can't tell by that. Huh. It's actually an opening animation. Cool. I know you maniacs are there. So come the fuck out then. Hey there, buddy. What? Summon demon this is. Or you, you're just a kid. I think the description of the game, uh... Does say there's multiple endings? I'm assuming there is. So, let's try to do things the right way first. You, you're just a kid. Hey, it's, uh... It's okay, kid. I won't. What's your name, kid? Don't talk. Not much of a talker, eh? You can come out. Yeah, come on. It's okay. It's fine, I murdered them, it's okay. I just meet now. <laughs> Shit. No, no, don't look at that. Uh... There... There... Sorry about the, uh, mess. Why am I acting like this? A demon can end the world. It may not even be a kin. Just look like one. Oh, uh, are you hungry? Food? Don't you give me those, like, Disney eyes. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll find you something, okay? Fuck. Fuck! No, don't you do that! Oh, no, no, don't say that. No, no, it's okay. It's just... <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond to this one. That word has a bad meaning. Maybe this one sounds more apparently. Look, we, uh, gotta get going. To somewhere else. Not here. People probably sell the fire for miles and are on their way to... Do what I was going to do. Meet? Gonna do? <laughs> you learn fast, kid. 
Hold on tight, yeah. We gotta be quick. Like a big lizard on my back. At least we have a pickup truck. The ultimate survival vehicle. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? I didn't think this through at all. What am I going to do? Who is even this kid? Is it a kid? Is it... Hey, kid. You gotta sit down. It's... All right. I guess you haven't seen much of the outside, huh? This is what it looks like now. Whole lot of nothing. But I guess it beats the inside of a cage. If anything, I think it's an improvement. No traffic. Oh, look! A... What I assume is a Ferris wheel that's been taken over by some weird Lovecraftian goo. Or roots. Name. Huh? Name, fuck. No, your name's not fuck. No, your <laughs> No, your name is not fuck. Hey, look, game predicted me. Your name. Oh, well, my name isn't fuck either. Call me Del. Let's stop saying that word. Del. And don't you dare make that joke of dude you're getting a Del. You got it, kid. Don't do it! So, uh, did those cultists call you anything? A name? World Eater? That's ah, a nice name. Was that one of, like, the, the Chaos Space Marine groups? The World Eaters? Okay, don't like that. Maybe not that. Yeah, definitely not that. I kinda like it. I can give you a name if you want it. If you, um, like it. Oh, maybe a touch personal, but uh, I guess I'm feeling a certain type of way. It's weird. Old memories. <laughs> I'm rambling. You, uh, how about Barrett? Barrett! Name Barrett. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like a yes to me. All right, uh, Barrett. You and me, we're on together here on out. Feels like it's going against everything I've fought for since the end, but... I feel like I gotta protect her more than anything else I've lived for these past years. What's up? Where go? Good question. First, as far away as from here as possible, which I guess is the coast. You might like the beach, the ocean as far as you can see. Stand between your hooves. Just gotta hope we can outmaneuver whoever's willing to chase us. Hope. Yes, hope. Last thing we have. Hey, kid. Did you know that back before the post apocalypse, there was an entire series dedicated around hope? And some kind of weird trials with some bear or something. Yeah, I don't like Redemper again either. Alright, we've been driving around for a while. Hopefully they've lost our trail. You hungry still, yeah? Hungry, yeah. Alright, let's get some food in you. I'll look around, you stay in the truck. Or just, you know, climb on my back like a lizard, fine. Oh, uh, yeah, why don't you tag along, sure. Is this like the meme? Because it happened real- it's, like, very fast-paced so far. It makes me think of the meme of, like, I've only met you for five seconds, but I'll protect you with my life. What's up? See something you like? Oh, uh... 
Never seen anything like this, huh? Trash can? Buck. Huh. <laughs> guess those peppers ain't just for show. Oh, I guess you're more of a dinosaur. But uh, yeah. A lot of people used to live here. Now it's abandoned. Too sprawly to defend. But hopefully there's some stuff we can take. Hope. Yes, that's right, hope. But we won't find it here in this trash can. I found nothing. But nothing, I mean my soul. Now we're gonna like Street Fighter this car. I gained two bananas from Street Fighter in this car. You heard it here first. Punch cars, get bananas. Donkey Kong should be here, if anything. I'm not sure if I'm doing that right. Oh! I know I'm doing it wrong. It's stupid me. I It's the arrows, not the... Because I'm controlling my character with the WASD keys. So, sometimes the arrows are... They substitute in for the same thing. Like, they both do it. But no, it is the arrow keys. I wasn't thinking. My bad. Let me just punch this in rage. Two cans from punching that. Sweet. I'm gonna punch this too. Punch it. Get some chocolate. Sweet. Backpack, let's search this. Yeah, it's the arrow keys. All I got is a candy bar. I suppose I could sprint down there. Okay, let's see what we got. Could've gotten more if I didn't mess up on those other things. Ah, my stomach really hurts. God, I'm starting to feel a bit weak. Sorry, kiddo. We didn't find much. I know, I know. I'll do better next time, yeah? I failed in my parental duties. Oh no. Stay back, kid. Hipsters from the San Francisco tribe. Stay down, Barrett. Eh, what's this? Why, what a surprise. We weren't expecting old Dell at the end of these drug tax, eh, boys? You want to tell me why the world missing? Why is the missing world ending suddenly to your old pal? You and your inbred crew have never been my pals. That don't answer my question now, does it? You must have seen that fire in the sky. And we all know the source of it was smack dab in the middle of your turf. So where's the fucking demon then? Fuck, I didn't think they'd catch up so fast. This is bad. I can fight them off, but... Hey, what's that behind you? That's my, uh, pet dinosaur. Oh, oh well, I guess that answers that. You plan on ending the world there, Dale. She's a fucking child. She's not gonna end shit, Chuck. You know it's better safe than sorry. And the thing over will take it from you. You can certainly fucking try it. Your choices in this story have consequences. The things you say, the actions you take, and the priorities you hold. Just like I say, bruises and faith. Gotta keep the faith. We'll be eating mangoes down, as well as the hunger place and how well she can react to threats. I had to cut off that reference a little early. Don't want to get too deep into that. The choices you make influence those who look up to you. I mean, like this thing. Oh, well, we can do this the hard way? 
You need to, like, plow me over? Or you just turn the car on? What should I do? What can you do? Frick. Backed into a corner. He called my bluff. Some protector I turned out to be. What the hell? Barrett, are you? Go, go! Right. Let's scram it while this lasts. We've been driving for a while. We've had to. They've had to have lost us by now. Dell, Barrett. Tired. Did you wear yourself out? Just take it easy, yeah? Your little stunt surprised me, too. But, uh... Thanks for the save. Yeah. Shin... Dig? Dagnamma... Dang damn it. I, I see you're trying to censor yourself. I ran the engine dry. We're out of gas. <sighs> I'll be up for a walk, Barrett. You have to actually nod, kid, not just say the word. Oh. Oh, I thought that was like a sound effect. It was literal. some gas. Pfft. Nah, gas sure don't taste good. Bad drink? Not a drink. Don't drink gasoline. I'm just siphoning fuel for the car. Want a taste? No. Don't drink gasoline. Sheesh. Can't say fuck. Can't drink gasoline. Alright. Okay. You're out of line. You're damn right. We need to talk about your language. Do we know if gas is even bad for her? Well, I'm not going to test it. Granola bars have fine enough diet for a child. Got some granola bars. Let's get a more possible route here. Oh, they're speeding it up. Food! Food! Yes, food. Can you actually like, lose the mashing one, or is that like a guaranteed one? Just so like you aren't walking to, blocked into a wall. This place is a bit like the city we were in a few days ago, but more spread out. People aren't too fond of the crowds would come out here and settle down. Big green yard. Big. Family. I like tall houses better. Huh. You know, I think I do too. Nice. Bananas. Can I beat up this car? Beat up that car! Nice. We're right in a line here. Probably some stuff to the left. Let's go, kid. I mean, Barrett. Okay, let's go, Barrett. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, it's string cheese, not bananas. My bad. Does this need refrigerated? In the few of these haven't been turned into potato dust. Treating it so bad every once in a while. Cardboard, but the nutrition kind. Alright. Feed. Beans. I think nobody opened their cans in the before times. 
<laughs> nice finds. Whoa! Food was good. I'm glad you enjoyed it, kid. <sighs> the walk here's much easier than the walk back. Not so bad. Oh, okay, thanks. Easy for you to say. What you doing? Been a long stretch of sounds on this trip, yeah? Used to be the road trips of the music playing the whole time. Trying to find my old tapes. Music! Oh yeah, it's gonna blow your socks off. Sock? Hoofs. Let's see. What are we in the mood for? Pop it up! Oh, whoops. Loud. <laughs> yeah, it's what we call a headbanger. Oh, come on. It ain't that bad. It's a rocker. Listen, give it a chance. Something you just gotta get used to. I don't want to listen to your boomer rock. Oh, uh, nothing. Just bad vibes. Vibes. Yeah, this place was a bit off, I guess. I don't love how cramped the road is. I don't love escape options if you need to skedaddle. That's no good. Guess we gotta get on out. And find some more supplies, it looks like. Hungry girl, are ya? Better wrap you up in some sort of disguise, you know? Just in case the people here ain't too friendly. Those are nice goggles you got going there. Keep your tail tucked in, alright? Okay. Don't worry. It's not for long. I promise. So, I actually had a lightning storm and knocked out my power just after I got back in that cutscene. Um, it started up when I played the rock music, so I took that as a sign, I actually reloaded. So we're gonna go for some of the other decisions here, now that I kinda understand how the game works. Um, and that'll probably put more barrel line onto the good ending. And then we'll get the bad ending afterwards. Good eats. Glad you like it, Barrett. I'll be sure to keep you fed, eh? Yeah. Okay, so let's use our words, because we got a little bit of food. Apparently you probably need max food to take them on, I guess. Use your words. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me, Chuck? Didn't you tell me once you lost your kids in the end of it all? You lost your fucking... All of you lost families. We all did. That thing ain't my family. Well, she sure as hell ain't rabid. All I've seen her do is be wide-eyed and childlike. You think I'm gonna kill something? Let you kill something so helpless? That? Them fucking freaks summon this thing for a reason, Dale. They want all this to end a second time. And you're gonna let that happen. I'm not gonna let anything happen. Not to her, not to you, not to anybody. I won't. I'm not gonna let the world hurt her. Huh. You really mean all this, eh? Yeah. Alright, boys, let's head on out. Don't argue with me, fellas. You all know she'd handily kick every ass here anyway. So... Let's see if this goes down the same way. We're like... Barry creates an earthquake. Wait, hey, 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 cut it out. They walked into my pipe. I was just swinging my pipe, it was practice. They walked into it. Jesus, Nikki. You all saw it. Pipe Patterson. 
Well, told ya. I ain't gonna be able to keep the others back from you, Dell. You best be watching yourself on your own. Thank you, Chuck. But yeah, we were on the, uh, I think we were on the bad route before. We made too many wrong choices. I can't believe that worked. Come on, kid. Let's get out of here before any more surprises show up. Should be a good way away from Selmans right now. I doubt we'll have any surprises like before. On the way out here. You and me way out. Yeah. We've been driving quite a bit. It's a while before we reach the coast, though. So. Coast. You excited to see the beach, huh? Yes. Huh. Me too, kiddo. Been a while. Even the dialogue here changed. So did it actually did have a big effect. Okay. Heh. <laughs> That's fine. Whoa! Food was good. Glad you enjoyed it, kid. Alright, let's play something soothing this time. Sounds nice. Yeah, one of these days you'll like Boomer Rock. All right. Now this is where we left off before. Let's break these blocks of our fists. Some cans. Hey, look, a person. We can beat them up. Oh, never mind. Oh, guess. Help yourself to what we can offer. Now, that's suspicious. No one ever asks you to help yourself in the post apocalypse. We won't need it for much longer. Okay. Thanks for the chips. How much work do you need to like search a wheelbarrow? You just you just kind of look in there like, oh, anything in there? Nope. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Weird. Whoops. Only got one item out of that. Messed it up. Some chips. Hi, nice kid. Guess the little one's expecting rain. Haha, <laughs> just ribbing you. I don't trust any of you here. Oh, visit us. Come, let me see you. Hello there. Hi! Barrett, don't. Oh, do not worry. We're harmless. It's just hard woman to see a young one after all this time. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh nice to meet you too, little one. Go on. He's... Is that a... Tail. Brethren, together immediately. Ah, oh, crap. She never went to the weird village of the skulls on it. No, 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 no. Our calls for the return of the second end have come true. Thank you, spirit from below. Yay, anime! Praise be. You... Are the one who absconded of our promise. Devil snatcher, kidnap a thief! And thanks to the wills of the waste, you've returned our promise to us. What the hell are you talking about? You are surrounded, usurper. 
Your eyes are all pretty scrawny. I don't know about you. Return the promised one to us and we will be sure it will fulfill its destiny. Yes, you. Keep close to me, Barrett. Don't listen to them. Do not listen to us. You must be aware of what the little one represents if you choose to harbor it. Return it to us and we will keep it safe beyond the extent of what you alone are capable of. Of its course corrected, we will be sure to return the world once more greater than... Shut your damn mouth. I found her. Her, not it. In a cage. You want me to turn her over to a bunch of whack jobs who don't even see her as a person? No way. Okay. I'm hoping I'm interpreting this right. I'd rather die, I'm assuming, is to protect it. She deserves better. There's two ways I can take this one. It's either we give it up, like, oh, she deserves better. Go with you. Or... She deserves better as in like it's a nicer way of saying like I'm not giving it to you. So I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared of choosing this one. So I'd say I'd rather die. You do not have to turn her over. We are happy to take her from you. And in turn, you will keep her happy if you so wish. God damn it. Not this again. What do I do? Oh no. Did we not have enough Well I got all the food possible before. What is there to do? I won't... You're not taking her. I won't let you. We are done with you, survivor. Hand over the world eater is the only option. Maybe I should focus on my own strength more than yours. No! Don't! Don't go, Barrett! B Barrett! No more fight. I am Demon, World Eater. This why I actually, like I said, I chose all the right options this route. But, I guess the food should have been more towards me than you. Because then I'm not strong enough to defend you. Maybe Del should go to beach alone. What? No, kid, come on. You can't be believing all this. I'm not leaving here without you. The promise what is making her choice, Osapa. This is her purpose. Will you shut the fuck up? I had to save her from you freaks in the first... You originally set out to slay the promise, did you not? I... To end the life of the one you call Barrett. But you were unable. This is the proof that the promise is kept alive. She ate your heart like she would eat the world. Uh, that doesn't quite work the way you think it does. No! Barrett! Barrett, don't. Thank you, Del. I kneel. Next time, eat more chips. Do not despair, survivor. This is out of your hands and soon our own. The weight of the world is too much for us all. I'm joining you. Oh, I will warn you, we do not deal so kindly with instigators. I just want to see you grow up. Whatever it means. How? However you do it. Please. Very well, Bruiser. Bannon. So I'm trying to figure out the food mechanics. The food resets the start every time you go to the next area. And I'm not sure. It might be that you have to have a full food bar to get the options for something. As in like 100% full. So I got a full food bar in the first stage, but I had to eat almost all the food we got in the first stage. And then because of that, I did not have enough food to get a full bar in the second stage.
The world has ended, but it can begin again. With a quick reload. Yeah, so this time I made sure my food was full. And then um, I just gave the leftover food to uh, Barrett. But for most, um, I made sure it was full all the way to the max. Now I have the options here. So feed yourself before you feed your child. Which makes sense. I mean, it, from a survival standpoint, it makes sense. I don't think it's up to you or me what happens to her. Barrett, what do you want? Yes, kid. You. How trite. Right. The promise will obviously be best with the promise keepers. Look, fella. You think she's gonna end the world regardless, right? Well, yes. As it is written. Then let her choose how she does it, eh? Parrot wants to see the beach. With Dell. And the truck. You heard the kid. I promise to take care of her. And she's the promised one, or whatever. That feels pretty ironclad prophecy to me. Then we'll come regardless. Promise is a promise. You can do that. Very well. Enjoy the beach, little one. And remember your promises. Come on, Barrett. Let's get going. We're just gonna walk on out of here. Can you give us some money on the way out? I know money doesn't exist in this universe anymore, but like... You know, I still like some. The wind feels nice. It really does. It smells like the ocean. Del? Yeah, hon? Is what people said about me true? Am I gonna... end the world? To be honest, Barrett, I really don't know. Thanks for finding me. Huh? I'm happy you let me out of the cage. And that you named me. And that we're friends. I'm happy about all that too, Han. I can't wait to see the beach. I think it's going to be my favorite. Yeah, it'll be a good place for a home. Nice. So I think how it goes is, it must be aggressive options, having full food means you can do violent options. And then positive options, and then full food is you do nice options. Now whether the negative options lead to a bad ending, I'm not sure. Could be the same thing. Um, I don't know.
So that's it for Fostering Apocalypse. So the game description on the actual game page says two endings. So I'm going to assume that that's, that's it essentially. And the negative options maybe lead you to an alternate way to get the good ending or may just hard lock you into the bad route. And then if you don't do anything else, it hard locks you into the bad route. But that was pretty good conceptually. It's a shortish game and it's, um, I'm not sure if it's a game jam game or not. It might be. But it feels almost like a demo in some ways, or like a taste of what's yet to come. Because I liked the concept of it being a survival choice game. There's a few of those things out there. But the idea of like, oh, you have the 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 bearer of the second apocalypse with you, and you gotta kinda raise him. So it's also like a child raising sim at the same time, combined with the survival choices, combined with the things like that, and maybe with some tweaking on the, the food resource gathering kind of thing and you basically have a weird Oregon trail so as it is I think you could make a sequel very easily like a full-fledged kind of commercial release sequel and I would actually encourage them to do that because I think there's, there's an opportunity there but the taste of what we got I liked it uh, I don't really find anything wrong with it aside from once again the the length constraining the game part of it, the, the game anyway so, thank you all for watching me play Fostering Apocalypse. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.